Flight Through the Rainbow. There was once a wondrous time when I flew through a rainbow in a small bush plane in the Northwest Territories. First there was a big, rough, black thunderstorm that we had to fly through. Our poor little airplane was shaking. Clouds were rumbling and crying down heavy rain. Lightning was flashing and thunder was roaring all over the sky. Bouncing around in the dark, we felt like a little leaf being blown every which way. The woman pilot asked me, Raymond, are you scared? I kept thinking, what if a thunderbolt of lightning hits us? We're going down. I remember the pilot saying, don't be scared, we'll be fine. So I put my trust in her. She steered our little plane through the dark black storm and got us out. I thank the creator, Nuwatsana, for allowing us to survive the flight, for it scared me half to death. As we flew out of the storm, the clouds opened up and we burst out into the sunlight. In front of us was the rainbow. Ah, it looked beautiful. As we got close to the rainbow in the sky, it had its own energy. It felt like it was alive and that we could reach out and touch God's colors and power and light. These colors of the rainbow were brand new and alive. Violets, blues, greens, yellows, oranges, and reds. They were all there in the palette. They were like we were being bathed in God's colors. We passed through too quickly. The pilot said, what do you want to do? I said, let's do it again. She banked and circled around and got into position and we blasted through the rainbow again. Flying through the creator's magic light. What a special feeling. I will never forget it. Our elders often talk about the special spiritual relationship we Dene people have with all animals, including the spider. They talk about how the spider can weave a web that catches the raindrops that create the rainbow. When there was a big flood, the spider set its net and stopped the rain, allowing our Dena people to survive. Spiders have powers beyond our earth, and they deserve our respect. We Dene consider the spider to be the greatest hunter of all. We call him Etsa Spider, Grandpa Spider is a sign of great love and respect to him. Going way back in my mind, the most magical thing about the experience of flying through the rainbow was the wonderment and magic. As boys in Toledo in the Northwest Territories, we realized that the rainbow would disappear and then shoot out somewhere else from the clouds. The white kids would talk about a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but we ask, how would we get there when it is always constantly moving? I remember once in the autumn it rained and then snowed, and the next day a rainbow 
showed up through the snow. That was something beautiful. Magic does happen, and I know this to be true, through the wondrous experience of flying through the rainbow and touching the rainbow. A beautiful, beautiful experience.